Holidays from Editor TV. I'm Sophie Donaldson, and tonight we're at Holiday House, which benefits Susan G. Komen for The Cure. It's cold outside, so let's go in and check out all the designer tables. Tell me how you chose to do a show house event um, for this charity and foundation. Um, I'm on the board of Komen for The Cure, and I'm also a 13-year breast cancer survivor. And what I wanted to do is tie my two passions together, one, my love for interior design and my passion to find a cure for breast cancer. Everybody here will have a drink and walk around, see all these beautiful designer tables, as well as celebrities. So tell me what the holidays are like at your house. Do you do any decorating? I do. From uh, Halloween on, we go nuts. And we do big Thanksgivings, and then we do big Hanukkahs, and then we do huge Christmases, and then we do Russian Christmas. And who would you like at your table this Christmas? Uh, a very rich, single Jewish man who is about to die after he signs everything over to me. Maybe Santa will fill your stocking that way, huh? Santa would work, but he would need a stomach bypass. <laughs> Mr. Jamie Drake, you chose Single Awareness Day for your holiday, but I don't believe you. Is that actually a holiday? Well, I thought Singles Awareness Day could really be an upbeat theme. It could be that, you know what? I love me. I heart me. And... I'm just fine being by myself, and I might play solitaire. Then again, I might want to roll the dice and play the game of love again. Like so the frog has been kissed. I haven't seen any transformations yet. There's time, there's time. You never know. You know, after being a survivor, the most important thing in life is just celebrating mm -hmm. and celebrating life's special occasions. And that's what each designer had to do. They had to pick a, a holiday that is special to them. So your holiday was summer solstice. So tell me where you started out for that. Well, we, we started out with knowing that we were thinking that we were on a porch out in the garden. And so we used our garden, wonderful stone garden table and lots of things that reminded us of summer. So Bunny, you told me earlier that you get really passionate and involved in these um, benefits when you care about the cause. And so you said you care deeply about this cause. And you yourself are a survivor, is that right? Exactly. Um, having had, had breast cancer, when they called and asked us to do this, I said, absolutely. You get asked to do a lot of things, but you really choose to do the things that you're really passionate about yeah. the cause. Happy birthday, you guys. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, so how did you pick this holiday? Well, everybody has one, and it must be celebrated. What are you turning next year? Um, I'm going to be 39 again, again. Again, again. Okay, yeah. there's only two again. Right. Well, <clears throat> okay, so how did you envision this birthday? I think the thing that was most important for us is it's been a little bit of a tough year here in the city in the economy, and we really wanted to just have a space that was happy. We all need to feel happy. We've decided that beige is dead, and we went for color. You went for real pink. Real color, and actually, most of the men that have come in this space have been the first ones to say, I love the pink. Thanks for watching Editor TV here at Holiday House, and from everybody at Editor at Large, happy holidays.